Welcome everyone to 7 Minutes or Less, talking about the shows you love or want to get into. Today, we will be talking about 24, Season 4. Jack is in cahoots with Ramon Salazar and his brother Hector to obtain a virus. This risky sting operation is only known between Gael Ortega, Tony Almeida, and Jack himself as they gain the Salazar's trust and coerce them into buying the virus and secure it. This plotline ends with Hector and Ramon killed as the virus remains on the loose with another buyer named Steven Saunders who has personal ties to Jack. Meanwhile, as we are wrapped up in the Salazar drama and Steven's ascension, we have Nina Myers making her third and final reprisal getting involved in the events of Day 3. Only, she bites off more than she can chew and proves she's not worth much after it's all said and done where Jack finally kills her. Some characters hang in the balance where you don't know what could happen, such as Tony and Michelle where their relationship is threatened and torn apart because of Stephen Saunders, and Jack is forced to kill a colleague, Ryan Chappelle, by Stephen's command. David campaigns for re-election against his opponent, John Keeler, where scandals become far more prominent when David's highest supporter, Alan, threatens to pull his support. Alan recently learns of an affair between his wife Julia and Wayne Palmer, David's younger brother, during Alan's stroke some time ago. David enlists the help of Sherry to bring an end to this ultimatum, which escalates into Alan dying during an argument with Julia present, and Sherry covers up her involvement. Julia exacts her own revenge when Sherry goes too far and kills Sherry. With a scandal too big to cover up, David resigns and promises to have a better friendship with Jack. For those of you who want to know how the season is on the level, it's great. Borderline on excellent. This season is a step in the right direction, keeping everything fresh and new. Instead of a singular threat, we have multiple. We have one main antagonist, and he's an elusive one at that. New characters to care about. Jack is fighting to keep his humanity intact when CTU brings out the worst in him. This is the one season where it's all hands on deck. I do enjoy this season thoroughly, and I am definitely along for the ride, but it's not quite my favorite like season one was. This season marks a kind of new reset and new approach in the grand scheme of things. For starters, this season has one constant antagonist, Habib Marwan, played by Arnold Vosloo. Another thing they do differently is introduce a large amount of new characters with different motivations and personal stakes that either progress the plot forward or gum up the works when things get intense. One thing I enjoyed in this season is how slowly but surely old characters from previous seasons are reintroduced into the story. Chloe being one person to show up since season three, we eventually see Tony Almeida come back, despite his imminent fate from season three, Michelle Dessler is called in midway of the season, and much to my amazement, joy, and thrill, they bring David Palmer back to help out in the proceedings till the season finale. What creates this sort of cast change is the immediate threat Habib Marwan possesses throughout this season. This threat from Habib Marwan comes from his ideals of how corrupt, arrogant, and blind America is, despite this, Jack and affiliates do stop the full power that Habib Marwan unleashes, but not without serious and dire consequences. Jack's involvement in this is merely a coincidental one, as his life has taken a turn for the better. Previously, he was fired from CTU due to his heroin addiction incurred in the light of duty. This was a seizable opportunity for him, where he moves to Washington, D.C., becomes romantically involved with Audrey Rains, whose father is Secretary of Defense James Heller, Jack's boss. They travel to CTU on a financial matter, while Habib Marwan's terrorist strike begins. And it's a genuine way to keep Jack involved as one of the attacks involve kidnapping and executing James Heller and Audrey Rains. This season is incredible, from hour one to its 24th hour, creating a raw intensity that beckons your viewing sensibilities. With some of my favorite characters to date, we have Edgar Stiles, who's a CTU intelligence analyst, and Curtis Manning, director of field operations. I feel the stakes are pretty high, even when you are forced to watch the perspective of the family that are the terrorists. Their importance isn't for you to sympathize with them, but to show confliction within the ranks that not everything is going 
going to go smoothly, no matter how dedicated the family is to the cause. For the first three seasons, the president and his cabinet members delegating resources to help out CTU and other agencies while various political agendas are revealed. So the weird thing is, is that we don't get it that much this go around. David Palmer's competitor, John Keeler, is now president after the events of season three, and it just shows him standing with those who are in charge, handling most of the situation while he denies, allows, or expresses warning to those who need it. While I was with the events unfolding from episode one through 16, it wasn't until episode 17 that I felt it was crunch time. A huge turning point for everybody happens in episode 17. Some of the finest storytelling occurs from this point forward where everyone is at their wits. Resources are stretched thin, it's desperate hour, and it's unclear if Habib can be caught and the attack stopped. Jack has been and always will remain my favorite character. His intensity and compassion are polar opposites for his character, where Kiefer Sutherland nails perfectly. This season grew what it wanted to be in fine style. I love the finale of this season, a true testament on how far the show is willing to go to create a compelling drama. In the end, guys and gals, this is a great season filled with action, suspense, and just enough of everything to keep you thrilled to binge. I highly recommend this season. Thank you all so much for watching. Have you seen 24 or are you interested in seeing it? Let me know down in the comments. Be kind, be reasonable, and let's talk. Like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're feeling generous, check out the description box. With all that said, I'll see you all next time.